So um, if people don't know us, so we're, we're Northwest Cancer Research. Um, we're a regional cancer research charity uh, based up in Liverpool, but we uh, fund research work uh, across the area. Um, and, and so we've actually we've actually been a research funder at Bangor U University since I think 2003. Um, I, I'd have to scratch my head on that one slightly, uh, but there's definitely a sign with a logo on it outside one of the buildings, and and it's in it's 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 the wrong logo for us. It's it's now a number of logos out of date for us. So I'm using that to date it as about 2003. Um, so our, our focus is on, you know, cancer in our region. If, if you live in, you know, and if I talk about the, the northwest of England, if you live in the northwest of England, you're about 25% more likely than the all England average to get cancer. And, and actually that that's really extends across North Wales as well. Um, the, of course, two different NHSs, two different systems, two different ways of recording data. But essentially, cancer, cancer rates in, in North Wales are significantly higher than the kind of the all Wales average. Um, so, so what we identify is, you know, A, we've got, we've got an issue with, with more cancer, but also it's different types of cancers as well. So, uh, yeah, so we've, we've just had this kind of strategic focus on sort of strengthening our research community across the region, because actually a big part of our, uh, our, our kind of, our, our, you know, our USP is that, you know, we're, we're an organisation who are local, we're here, we're in your region, we're just down the road from you. So actually for us, it's been really important to fund work here. And I think especially for our, local, our, our Welsh uh, our whale, you know, North Wales based supporters. That's a really important factor. You know, so when people in North Wales raise money for us, one of the things that they always going to ask is where's my money going and actually one of the things that they want to know is is it staying in wales is it staying in the region um so for us actually being able to fund um you know cancer research work of a really good quality at bangor has been absolutely great um and so for us it's been you know keep money in the region uh, but also strengthen the the research community give it critical mass um and then also create that kind of the next generation of researchers so um i think we we've got two phd students that are currently being funded through through kes2 um and i think we've got three or four mres students currently at the university and i think we've funded 11 so far so you know we've been we've been funding blocks of, of mres students each year which has been which has been absolutely great so my, my thought is we might be a little bit non-standard uh, as, as, a, as a funding partner. I mean, we're, we're not a kind of a traditional business. Um, and so, you know, we're, we're not kind of pulling people in and saying, well, you know, come, come and do work in our office and, you know, work on our specific R&D project. Actually, so for us, it's much more, it's been quite academic led. So actually, um, you know, some of the academics that we fund at Bangor sort of rang up and said, you know, actually, do you know about this program, Alistair? It's a way of getting funding in uh, and, you know, essentially we, we can we can do more. Um, so for us, yeah, that that thing of, you know, it's an opportunity to do more. It's a it's subsidy. It's bringing money in from somewhere else. It's good quality. You know, I, I think we, we have a, a real accent as an organisation on, on funding what is good. Um, and, you know, so we've got a whole set of processes around making sure that, you know, we only fund what's of, of a good standard what's going to have actual impact for the for the population um so actually kes2 for us has been great because it means that you've got um you know an academic that's saying uh here's here's a project that uh you know will drive my research forward that will advance knowledge around cancer that will advance knowledge in our region so not as cancer research we become partners and you know the essentially an external funder will put in a large proportion of the costs so for us supports our strategic aims it's really great in terms of that visibility for local supporters um, and it's helped to kind of create critical mass in in the research departments which i think is is really important isn't it you know you can have a, an absolutely world-class researcher but actually they need legs on the ground and emory students and phd students are a great way of doing that They're just kind of move, moving the research forward uh, and for us as well there's always an economic benefit keep the money in the region you know is 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 a real pro and again you know it's 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 one of the things i am most often asked with our sort of welsh groups of supporters are you keeping the money in north wales that's what they want to know
I think I think working in a charity, you sometimes have that view, don't you, that what we do must be incredibly important and a student must really want to do this. And why would anyone drop out from something which is going to, you know, improve the future of mankind kind of thing? But of course, students have got their own ideas and their own agendas. And, you know, if someone comes along with it with a well-paid job or something like that. Well, yeah, OK, you, you're going to kind of make that, um, you know, make that that judgment, that decision, aren't you? So for us, a, a really positive experience. Uh, it's allowed us to do a lot more than we would normally have done. And actually to be able to go to our trustees and go, guys, we can fund this. And actually, you know, uh, it, will, it will drive forward our mission. It's of strategic importance. It supports the research community. It's growing future researchers. It keeps money in Wales. Oh, and by the way, someone else is going to contribute to the cost. Has been a, you know, has been a win-win. Um, I don't know if you wanted it, but I gave, I gave you nine out of ten. So um, you, you, you might want to ask me later where the one went. But um, <laughs> um, I, I think for us, yeah, a, a really a really positive experience. At times there were there were delays, there were kind of political hiccups, but yeah, we got there. And you know the fact that we've come back year after year after year, and we're now on I think our third, possibly our fourth cohort of students says, yeah, we like this, and we're, and we're a supporter.